Ah, the flicker of nostalgia, that wistful dance with the past. Cast your mind back, dear reader, to a time when the world was a bit more whimsical, a bit more muppety. It was 1976, and television screens were suddenly graced by a riotous explosion of felt and foe, a madcap carnival of characters unlike anything seen before. The Muppet Show had arrived, and oh, what a spectacle it was. Do you remember the way your eyes widened as Kermit the Frog took center stage? Those ping-pong ball eyes brimming with both earnestness and exasperation. Or the uproarious chaos that unfolded every time the Swedish chef attempted his culinary capers, leaving both kitchen insanity in shambles. And who could forget the sassy quips of Miss Piggy, the porcelain diva who owned the spotlight with a flick of her fabulously feathered mane? Oh, but it wasn't just the Muppet characters that left an indelible mark. It was the fusion of slapstick and satire, the ingenious puppetry and quirky sketches that tickled our funny bones and tugged at our heartstrings in equal measure. Each episode was a kaleidoscope of comedy and camaraderie, a kaleidoscope that spun faster and brighter with every passing minute. But let us not dawdle in the past for too long, for we have yet to uncover the hidden gems, the quirky tidbits that lurk behind the curtains of The Muppet Show. So, gather round as we peel back the layers and reveal those delightful morsels that made this show a cherished treasure in the annals of entertainment. Prepare to be surprised, dear reader, for the tales that follow are as unexpected as they are delightful. From unconventional inspirations to the puppetry prowess that brought these characters to life, each factoid will weave a new thread in the rich tapestry of The Muppet Show's legacy. So without further ado, let's pull back the curtain on these random facts, these hidden treasures that add a touch of magic to the Muppetry madness. And who knows, perhaps y'all discover a newfound appreciation for the mayhem and mirth that Jim Henson and his troop of felt and feathered misfits brought into our lives. The Muppet Show, a beloved television series that aired from 1976 to 1981, was created by Jim Henson. This innovative and influential show combined puppetry, humor, and celebrity guest appearances, captivating audiences of all ages. The show's iconic characters included Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Gonzo, and the Swedish Chef, each bringing their own unique charm to the stage. Set within the zany world of a fictional variety show, the Muppets entertained viewers with a mix of witty sketches, musical performances, and behind-the-scenes antics. With its blend of slapstick humor and clever satire, the show appealed to both children and adults, making it a cross-generational hit. The Muppet Show had a profound impact on popular culture, redefining the possibilities of puppetry and entertainment on television. The seamless interaction between puppet characters and live-action guests was a hallmark of the show's creativity. The Muppets' distinct personalities and catchphrases quickly became part of the cultural lexicon. Transitioning to intriguing trivia about the show, one notable fact is that the character of Kermit the Frog was the show's level-headed host, embodying Henson's own gentle humor and wit. Despite its family-friendly appearance, the show occasionally pushed boundaries with its edgier humor, showcasing its willingness to experiment. Another fascinating detail is that the show featured an array of celebrity guests, from various fields, including acting, music, and comedy. These appearances added an element of surprise and diversity to each episode, further enhancing its appeal. Interestingly, the show's format of a fictional variety show within a show was a deliberate choice to allow for flexibility in content and to explore a wide range of comedic scenarios. A blend of irreverent humor and heartwarming moments contributed to its enduring popularity. In conclusion, The Muppet Show remains a groundbreaking series that revolutionized television entertainment. Its innovative puppetry, witty humor, and memorable characters have left an indelible mark on popular culture, transcending generations and inspiring future creators. Dream guests and ad-lib delights, The Muppet Show's behind-the-scenes revelations in the vibrant tapestry of 1,976 seconds beloved television series. The Muppet Show, a remarkable and little-known facet comes to light. Behind the whimsical facade and infectious camaraderie, a dynamic interplay between creator Jim Henson and his puppeteers breathed life into the show's iconic characters, notably the uproarious Swedish chef. 
Henson, a visionary puppeteer, ingeniously incorporated his personal preferences into the show's fabric, sparking spontaneous hilarity and keeping the audience on their toes. Central to Henson's behind-the-scenes vision was a list of coveted guest stars, both dreamed and real. Henson's yearnings for appearances by puppetry legends Bill Baird and Shari Lewis showcased his deep reverence for the craft. Meanwhile, his wish to bring the inimitable Mi West and the ethereal Mia Farrow onto the Muppet stage unveiled his eclectic taste. While some of these dreams materialized, like the revered Salvador Dali, many remained elusive, such as the iconic Beatles and enigmatic Abba, who couldn't wrangle their schedules to join the Muppet mayhem. Yet, it was the enigmatic Swedish chef who truly embodied the essence of the Muppet magic. The character's zany antics and culinary mishaps masked a fascinating secret. It sported real human hands, a rarity among the Muppet ensemble. This unique attribute, attributed to the dexterity required for chef's slapstick cooking, made for an unforgettable spectacle, delighting audiences young and old. What remains a testament to Henson's legacy is the off-script dance between him and fellow puppeteer Frank Oz, who collaborated on bringing the Swedish chef to life. Henson's voice and puppetry merged seamlessly with Oz's handiwork, forming an impromptu tango of wit and improvisation. Their mutual delight in donning the chef's apron led to spontaneous ad-libs, each pushing the other to match the moment's hilarity. In the annals of television history, The Muppet Show stands not only as a beacon of laughter, but as a testament to the symbiotic relationship between creator, performers, and characters. Henson's curated guest list revealed his aspirations and influences, while the Swedish chef's unconventional design offered a glimpse of the show's unique creativity. Above all, it's the unscripted, unrestrained interactions, like those of Henson and Oz, that remind us that the most enduring magic often emerges from the heart of the unexpected. So, next time you tune into the misadventures at The Muppet Show, remember the hidden tapestry of dreams, ad-libs, and distinctive characters that made this series an indelible classic. In later episodes of The Muppet Show, puppeteer extraordinaire Jim Henson employed a clever trick to infuse authenticity into Rolf's piano performances. As the show's popularity soared in 1976, Henson entrusted Steve Whitmire, a trained pianist, with controlling Rolf's hands during these musical interludes. The result, a harmonious marriage of entertainment and artistry, as Whitmire's deft pianism lent an air of realism to Rolf's playing. This partnership illuminated the screens, and viewers reveled in the delightful illusion of a puppet mastering the keys. The melding of Whitmire's musical prowess with Henson's visionary puppetry encapsulated the show's boundless creativity, resonating with audiences and cementing the Muppet Show's legacy as a beloved cultural treasure. Venda Face's costly cameo, The Muppet Show, the beloved 1976 television series, harbors a little-known anecdote about a peculiar character named Venda Face. This violent, talking vending machine, designed to attack any Muppet foolhardy enough to insert coins, was initially intended for a solitary sketch. However, its exorbitant production cost prompted executive producer David Laser to stretch its usage across multiple sketches. Laser's insistence was driven by fiscal prudence, ensuring the production company got its money's worth from the pricey creation. This decision inadvertently transformed Vendaface into a recurring and emblematic element of the show. The vending machine's turbulent interactions with the Muppets became an unexpected highlight, showcasing how financial considerations can shape artistic choices on the screen. As the show continued, Vendaface's antics emerged as a testament to the intricate intersection of creativity and budgetary concerns in the world of television production. The Muppet Show, a beloved 1976 television series, brought a cast of colorful characters to life, but only two performers graced the screen in every single episode. Kermit the Frog, the show's iconic host, and the cantankerous theater critic, Waldorf, remained constant presences throughout the show's 120-episode run. Their enduring charm and witty banter became a hallmark of the series, captivating audiences week after week. However, beyond the show's original airings, a significant shift occurred behind the scenes in 2003. Disney's acquisition of the Jim Henson Workshop marked a new chapter for characters like Fozzie Bear, and Dave Goals. 
The deal also encompassed the endearing bear in the Big Blue House franchise. Notably absent from this acquisition were the beloved Sesame Street characters, Big Bird and Elmo, who remained under the ownership of the Sesame Workshop. One of the show's flamboyant characters, Dr. Teeth, stood out with his extravagant costumes and vibrant mannerisms. Interestingly, his inspiration hailed from the world of New Orleans jazz, specifically drawing from the style of the renowned musician, Dr. John. This musical connection added a unique layer to Dr. Teeth's persona, showcasing the show's commitment to creativity and diversity. In the grand tapestry of television history, The Muppet Show of 1976 continues to shine as a testament to imagination and entertainment. From Kermit and Waldorf's enduring presence to the intricate web of character ownership, the show's legacy remains vibrant even in the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. As we draw the final curtain on this delightful journey through the whimsical world of The Muppet Show, I invite you to take a moment and let the strings of nostalgia weave their magic around you. Think back to those nights when the television screen transported you to a realm where laughter echoed through every corner and felt characters became friends that stayed in your heart long after the credits rolled. Perhaps it was Kermit's earnest attempts to manage the chaos, Miss Piggy's diva-worthy drama, or the uproarious antics of Gonzo, an animal that left an indelible mark on your soul. It's the beauty of The Muppet Show, a timeless tapestry of camaraderie, humor, and an unspoken promise that no matter where you are in life, these colorful creatures will forever inhabit a special corner of your memories. As you reflect on the moments that made you grin, guffaw, or even shed a tear, remember that you're not alone in this journey down memory lane. Countless others share this bond, this unspoken connection forged through shared laughter, and the love for a show that united generations. Now, it's your turn to be a part of this beautiful tapestry. Share your cherished memories, your favorite skits, the characters that captured your heart, and the lessons you carried forward. Let's celebrate the legacy of The Muppet Show together, honoring the joy it brought into our lives. Thank you for taking the time to relive these precious moments with me. Your connection to The Muppet Show enriches the narrative, and your stories are the glue that keeps its spirit alive. Until we gather again to share our tales, remember that it's the strings of these puppets that have forever woven us together. With gratitude.